All right, welcome back here in the usual with Corey, and we have Nathan with us today. A nice little treat for everybody. Good to be here, guys. I only, you know, fucking came 450 miles to see you dipshits, so <laughs> yeah, it'll be fun. So, well, yeah, it's good to be here. Yeah, well, just as always, cheers for starting. Okay, so kind of discussing more or less what we're going to be touching on. Of course, as usual, we can't decide what we're going to go with, so, um, Nate, any thoughts? Yes, uh, <clears throat> one thing i like to touch on, uh, I found kind of humorous and funny, but a little fucked up is Steelers player Mike Adams Yeah. witnessed some dipshits trying to steal his car, took it upon himself to stop him, a man who you know, gets paid to drive 300 pound men into the ground on a daily basis, confronts these men, and ends up getting stabbed, stabbed in the stomach yeah. at that, and taken down to the ground. Now, oh, of course, you know, it's a knife. Well, well yeah. yeah, you know, it's like, oh, bullets, like, yeah. how'd you know those kill me? Like, <laughs> So it's like saying don't bring a knife to a gunfight. To gun yeah, fight. it's like it's like a given, but at the same time, it's just the the idea of us holding, you know, uh, athletes such as football players, you know, uh, top bodybuilders. Yeah, yeah, UFC. Anyone who's top physical condition, like, oh, like if you were to get into a fight with, you know, you know, Lance Dipshit McGee, you know, who can punch his fists through infinity. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. you'd probably lose, right? And you're like, oh yeah, I'd lose. And it's like, unless you have a knife, and you know, someone gets stabbed, and then that reality that it, it we changes hold. it changes the whole whole entire situation oh, altogether. Yeah. And so this this pedestal that we hold these uh, athletes and these these so you know quote unquote so called strong men up, they're just as vulnerable and weak as any other. Person because they're human beings just like ourselves. No, of just, course. Yeah, it's yeah. just a mentality that I thought to myself. At first I laughed. I was like, oh my God, like, are you kidding me? He plays for the Steelers and he got stabbed. And then I thought, no, you know what? There's 80-year-old women and bodybuilders who get fucking gunned down at night. Like, it doesn't matter how intimidating you, you are. Or what you do. Yeah, or who you are, what you do. It's, you, it's, you're still, you're still, still vulnerable happen. to the same thing. Exactly. But, you know... With that, okay. if you had the strength and the size and weight as Mike Adams or uh, any other athlete at that, I mean, hell, let's just fucking throw it out there. Let's do fucking bodybuilders. Let's do, uh, like, I, like I touched on earlier. Yeah, because, I mean, I didn't read the full article. You know, I just yeah. kind of caught in passing. We kind of, we mentioned it earlier when we were at lunch. Um, well, but, um, you like, know, it, it wasn't just like a one-on-one -on -one thing either. From what I heard, from well, I no. Take it. Um, from my understanding, at first, uh, the first article I read had mentioned suspect, so I thought one person. No. Like, oh, I would totally do that. But later, I had after reading about four or five articles, there was three suspects. Yeah. But still, you. I mean, this is a big guy. Like you figure, you know, dude, just. Fight dirty, go for the throat, go for the temple. Yeah. Fuck them. Like, they're armed, they're... What did happen in the to car? Do you know what happened? Did he beat the shit out of, like, two of them? Um, I don't know about the details on that. As of today, uh, I still don't know, again, all the details. Uh, no one else does. But earlier when we were having lunch, it came up in discussion, and there was one arrest shortly before our arrival and convening on today's topic and show a second person was arrested and that's when I found out that there was three suspects quote unquote identified one of them having ties to uh, like a local street gang or something like that yeah and, and someone within uh, the world of a certain famous rapper at the moment which I mean that's all just bad publicity and People say there's no such thing as bad publicity, but I it's mean, still it's not gonna, it's not helpful. <laughs> yeah. So as vague as this is coming across and sounding, it's still vague for yeah. all of us right now. We're all finding yeah. out the information. But, but there's three individuals. He tried to stop them. They jumped him. One pulled a knife out, stabbed him in the stomach. They all took off. 
They were able to arrest one individual. They have a second yeah, suspect. I, I had read something on um, one of the uh, Steeler releases. Yeah. And that, uh, you know, he's doing <clears throat> fine and, you know, uh, the, the organization is in, you know, co close contact with his progress and everything else, you know. And wishing the best. I'm a big Steeler fan and we need him on the line. <laughs> that we do. He that probably, we... like, cut the knife with his muscles. You know what I mean? Just uh, squeeze yeah. down on it and broke it off yeah. with a hand. Yeah, and then he would turn around, he's like, come here, motherfuckers, and he, like, flexed his stomach and, like, shot it through one of their abdomens, and he's like, come on, bitches. That's the most likely story. I mean, that's yeah. what I would believe. I mean, the fact that they said he stabbed him and got away, I don't, I don't believe it. But, all joking aside, even some people's sports heroes can be taken down, and that's, that's that. Yeah. It's just... The way it works, I guess. And that's the way the cookie crumbled. Or the knife entered his stomach. <laughs> <laughs> However you want to take it or put it. But yeah, so, again, all your sports heroes, they're human just like you. That's, that's what I'm mainly getting at.